Earth in turmoil. Steamboat geyser eruption sparks supervolcano fears as Chloea. In Hawaii and Luatobi, in Indonesia, erupt violently. June 2025, the Earth is roaring again. From the steaming depths of Yellowstone National Park to the blazing craters of Hawaii and the ash-covered skies of Indonesia. As volcanic and geothermal activity intensifies across the globe, scientists and civilians alike are watching with both awe and unease. Steamboat geyser erupts in Yellowstone, triggering Super Volcano concerns. Deep in Yellowstone National Park's Norris Geyser Basin, it's the infamous Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, erupted once again this June shooting scalding water over 300 feet into the air and blanketing the sky in thick steam. This latest eruption adds to a pattern of intensified hydrothermal activity observed throughout 2025. It is the 23rd eruption so far this year a number that continues to stir public speculation and concern over the possible awakening of Yellowstones. Dot social media exploded with theories. Some pointing to recent ground uplift, hydrothermal explosions, and increased seismicity beneath the park. Visitors fled in panic during the most recent blast, as ground vibrations were reportedly felt in nearby areas. However, its geological survey USGS scientists urged calm, reaffirming that there is no sign of magmatic movement capable of triggering. A catastrophic eruption emphasize that steamboats activity is purely hydrothermal driven by water and steam knot by molten rock. There has been no change in the status of the Yellowstone caldera, which remains at normal background. Levels While impressive and unpredictable, steamboats eruptions are not unprecedented, despite reassurances. The timing and frequency of these outbursts, alongside subtle shifts in the Biscuit Basin and Norris, regions have kept Yellowstone under. The close scrutiny of volcanologists and geophysicists around the world. Chloe Volcano in Hawaii unleashes explosive lava fountains. Meanwhile, thousands of miles away in the Pacific, Hawaii's Klaue Volcano continues its dramatic Eruption cycle, with violent bursts of lava erupting from Halema, Uma, U Crater. On June 11, 2025, the volcano's 25th eruption since December 2024 occurred, launching lava fountains up to 330 feet high and generating thick curtains of volcanic gas. The pattern has been episodic marked by intense fountaining, followed by brief pauses. A behavior known as gas pistoning. Magma rises and falls in the crater as volcanic gases accumulate and burst through the surface with explosive force. The spectacle has drawn thousands of curious tourists though authorities have warned the public to maintain a safe distance. Tragically, one person fell to their death in early June after crossing a restricted zone near the crater rim. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to monitor summit inflation and gas emissions, which remain dangerously high. Residents downwind have been advised to wear protective masks. As sulfur dioxide and volcanic smog vogue, affect air quality in surrounding communities. 
while the eruption remains confined within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Oh, scientists warn that shifts in the subsurface magma chamber could lead to fissure openings outside the current crater. As seen during Klauea's devastating 2018 eruption, Luatobi Volcano in Indonesia erupts again, forcing evacuations and grounding flights on the island of Flores in Indonesia. The Luatobi Laki Laki Volcano erupted violently on June 17 and 18, sending towering columns of ash up to 36,000 feet into the sky. The explosive eruption blanketed nearby villages in ash and forced the government to evacuate thousands of residents from the high-risk zone surrounding the mountain. The Volcanology and Geological Disaster Mitigation Center PVMBG, immediately raised the alert level to the highest classification level 4. A 9-kilometer exclusion zone was declared and disaster relief teams deployed emergency shelters and medical aid to assist displaced families. The eruption disrupted air traffic across Southeast Asia, prompting flight cancellations in Bali, Labuan, Bao, and Maumere, and affecting international travel from Singapore, Bangkok, and even New Delhi. Satellite imagery captured the ash plume crossing the equator and drifting over hundreds of kilometers into the Indian Ocean. Luatobi has had a worrying pattern of unrest, with earlier eruptions in November 2024 and March 2025 that killed at least nine people and destroyed scores of homes and farmland. This latest event only reinforces fears of a prolonged eruptive period that could impact food security, health, and infrastructure across the region. Science behind the fury. What's driving the activity? At Yellowstone, the steamboat Geyser's behavior is linked to shifts in underground water reservoirs interacting with heated rock, creating sudden explosive discharges. No magma is involved, but the proximity to the Yellowstone supervolcano's vast caldera keeps scientists cautious. At Klauea, eruptions are tied to fluctuations in gas pressure within the shallow magma chamber. When gas accumulates and releases, it drives lava violently to the surface, resulting in dramatic but localized eruptions. Luatobi's eruptions, on the other hand, are tectonic in origin, stemming from the subduction of the Indo-Australian plate beneath the Eurasian plate. The melting of oceanic crust fuels volatile magma chambers, which can explode violently with little warning, 